Good morning. This is suffragists for the morning of the 11th of September. This is a reading from Genesis, beginning with the 41st chapter's 53rd verse. The seven years of plenty that prevailed in the land of Egypt came to an end. And the seven years of famine began to come, just as Joseph had said. There was famine in every country. But throughout the land of Egypt, there was bread. When all the land of Egypt was famished, the people cried to Pharaoh for bread. Pharaoh said to all the Egyptians, go to Joseph, what he says to you, do. And since the famine had spread over all the land, Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold to the Egyptians, for the famine was severe in the land of Egypt. Moreover, all the world came to Joseph in Egypt to buy grain, because the famine became severe throughout the world. When Jacob learned that there was grain in Egypt, he sent his sons. He said to his sons, Why do you keep looking at one another? I have heard, he said, that there is grain in Egypt. Go down and buy grain for us there that we may live and not die. So ten of Joseph's brothers went down to buy grain in Egypt. But Jacob did not send Joseph's brother Benjamin with his brothers, for he feared that harm might come to him. Thus the sons of Israel were among the other people who came to buy grain, for the famine had reached the land of Canaan. Now Joseph was governor over the land. It was he who sold to all the people of the land, and Joseph's brothers came and bowed themselves before him with their faces to the ground. When Joseph saw his brothers, he recognized them, but he treated them like strangers and spoke harshly to them. Where do you come from? He said. They said, from the land of Canaan to buy food. Although Joseph had recognized his brothers, they did not recognize him. Joseph also remembered the dreams that he had dreamed about them. He said to them, You are spies. You have come to see the nakedness of the land. They said to him, No, my lord, your servants have come to buy food. We are all sons of one man. We are honest men. Your servants have never been spies. But he said to them, No, you have come to see the nakedness of the land. They said, We, your servants, are twelve brothers, the sons of a certain man in the land of Canaan. The youngest, however, is now with our father, and one is no more. But Joseph said to them, It is just as I have said to you, You are spies. Here is how you should be, shall be tested. As Pharaoh lives, you shall not leave this place unless your youngest brother comes here. Let one of you go and bring your brother, while the rest of you remain in prison, in order that your words may be tested, whether there is truth in you, or else as Pharaoh lives, surely you are spies. And he put them all together in prison for three days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is the 11th of September. On this day, in the year 1973, the democratically elected government of Salvador Allende was overthrown in Chile by a CIA-backed group on the same day in 2001, terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center and the United States Pentagon killed 2,800 people. Theophilus of Antioch, a second century bishop, wrote, Say to those that hate and curse you, you are our brothers. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. 
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation. O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the seas that are far away. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me bless God's holy name. You redeem my life from the grave and crown me with mercy and steadfast love. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord God, merciful judge, you are the inexhaustible fountain of forgiveness. Replace our hearts of stone with hearts that love and adore you, that we may delight in doing your will through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Almighty God, in penitence we come before you, acknowledging the sin that is within us. We share the guilt of all those who, bearing the name Christian, slay their fellow human beings because of race or faith or nation. Forgive us and change us by your love, that your word of hope may be heard clearly throughout the world through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. O God, strength of those who believe in you, give comfort and clarity of vision to us in this time of need. Open our ears to hear your voice and obey your will. Open our hearts that true justice and wisdom may abound. And open our hands that violent resolution of conflict may cease. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Look with mercy, gracious God, upon people everywhere who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Rouse us from our complacency and help us to eliminate cruelty wherever it is found. Strengthen those who seek equality for all. Grant that everyone may enjoy a fair portion of the abundance of the earth. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You who prayed from the cross for your Father to forgive those who were killing you. Grant us the courage to forgive those who harm us and our families, 
in our communities and in our world. Help us to recognize our own need to seek the forgiveness of others. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always.